high-tech bullets that can track you, energy weapons that were once thought only possible in movies like Star Wars, suits that can make soldiers stronger, faster, and more operationally aware. Military technology feels more like yesterday's science fiction than ever before, and today we're taking you on a tour of 17 pieces of cutting-edge military tech that's likely to change warfare forever. Number 17. Directed Energy Weapons In a video about cutting-edge military tech, we'd be fools not to open with one of the most unique entries on the list, energy weapons, one of the most valuable new areas for expansion of military tech, especially as warfare becomes increasingly plagued by swarms of drones designed to deplete and overwhelm enemy supplies of missiles and bullets. Enter, to take one recent example, the Radio Frequency Directed Energy Weapon, or RFDEW, a UK Ministry of Defense weapon funded under Project Ealing. RFDEW is a compact energy weapon that can be easily transported on the back of a truck while only needing a single person to operate it. With the capability to track, target, and engage multiple targets within a 0.62 mile range, it's able to take out elusive drones with a targeted blast of electromagnetic radiation. You might be thinking, why spend so much research and money on this science fiction weapon when we've already got anti-aircraft technology that's taken out planes for decades? Because with the advent of drones, these methods are no longer cost-effective, and as we mentioned earlier, drones are being used as a tactic by militaries looking to financially bleed out their opponents. If you're trying to take out a $20,000 drone with a $1.3 to $2.5 million Sea Viper missile, given that you don't miss the small target and successfully hit the drone, you might have won the physical war, but you definitely lost the economic one. Enter the RFDEW, which has a higher upfront cost than your average missile, but each shot only costs 13 cents to fire, and as long as there's an energy source, the energy blasts can be fired in perpetuity. In the long run, it pays for itself. But enough about taking things out of the sky. What about keeping them there? Number 16. Lockheed Skunk Works Aerial Tanker Look, it might have a stupid sounding name, but by 2040 this indispensable piece of military hardware is expected to rewrite the war rule books when it comes to aerial engagements. Designed to replace the outmoded KC-135 strata tankers, aerial refueling tankers are exactly what they sound like, flying gas stations that intercept planes in need of some rejuicing and give them some of that sweet, sweet fuel to keep them in the air. Military strategists believe this is going to be increasingly useful if relations with China continue to degrade. Should the worst come to pass, US planes will be flying over vast swaths of open sea with no opportunity to land and refuel, so they'll need a next-generation aerial tanker to meet their increasingly complicated refueling needs. Outside of some of the concept art and a few scant details, Lockheed has kept the plans for the new tanker close to their chest, which seems like all the more reason to expect great things from it. It's going to be a smaller, faster vehicle that's paradoxically designed to carry more fuel, and in a potential direct US-China conflict that we really hope doesn't happen, it might be one of the many little things that gives the US an edge. Let's get our heads out of the clouds now and dive down into the sea. Number 15. The DARPA Manta Ray Robot Now this is a piece of tech that's actually every bit as cool as it sounds. The Uncrewed Underwater Vehicle, or UUV, is designed to carry explosive payloads over extreme distances autonomously. It's a modular design, meaning it comes in pieces and is easily assembled, and it's able to anchor itself to the seafloor and go into hibernation mode when necessary. While DARPA has been typically secretive about the actual use cases of the massive manta ray, it shouldn't surprise anyone that having another feather in your cap when it comes to naval dominance is a huge advantage in modern warfare. And if the prototype testing continues to go well, there's a good chance that the US Navy will be signing a sizable check for a new fleet of manta rays. Dr. Kyle Werner, DARPA program manager for Manta Ray said, Our successful full-scale Manta Ray testing validates the vehicle's readiness to advance toward real-world operations after being rapidly assembled in the field from modular subsections. The combination of cross-country modular transportation, in-field assembly, and subsequent deployment demonstrates a first-of-its-kind capability for an extra-large UUV. Shipping the vehicle directly to its intended area of operation conserves energy that the vehicle would otherwise expend during transit. But with so many naval assets, you might wonder, how do militaries hide them from the enemy? Number 14. The Stealth Ship Decoy Launcher This is another potentially game-changing innovation from the UK's Ministry of Defense. The Ancilia Trainable Decoy Launcher, costing over £130 million or $170 million, could actually be worth every penny. In our increasingly data-driven world, stealth and secrecy come at an even higher premium. 
So creating a high-tech device that ensures stealth ships stay quite literally under the radar is a priority for many of the world's leading militaries. In the early 20th century, the British created a simple decoy method known as chaff, using a payload of shredded foil to cloak bombers in the eyes of enemy radar. However, since emerging technology has allowed militaries to identify chaff as chaff by its Doppler effect, it hasn't been the primary method of avoiding detection since the Falklands War in 1982. However, the Ancilia works on a similar principle with a uniquely modern twist. So how does it work? The system consists of six launching tubes that fire off a variety of payloads, including a modernized version of chaff, an infrared tricking flare, reflected materials that block radar beams, and more. It's also designed to have a minimal deck footprint because discretion is the name of the game when it comes to stealth technology. With the Ancilia in their arsenal, British stealth ships might actually be able to stay stealthy. However, the next thing on our list intends to create the opposite effect. Number 13. Ultimate Thermal Sniper Scope Snipers, they're the world's most terrifying math geeks. Even with a bevy of assistant technology snipers have at their disposal today, there are an insane number of variables that a sniper needs to take into account when trying to line up the perfect shot. In the past, this has resulted in them needing to employ a certain necessary evil, tracer rounds, bullets with a glowing incendiary component that gives snipers a better idea of where their bullets are actually landing. But of course there is a problem, while tracer rounds look awesome, they put snipers in potential danger by giving away their position to the enemy. However, defense contractor Teledyne Fleer may have the solution, the Thermosite Hiss HD, a thermal sniper scope that will allow the user to see where their own bullets travel for around 1.3 miles, eliminating the need for tracer rounds and allowing snipers to do their careful work with extra stealth and precision. But keeping things under wraps is one thing, what about lighting them up? Number 12. Energy Web Dominance Program DARPA and Raytheon have been spending tens of millions of dollars on a wild project designed to quote, deliver energy into contested areas. It's known as the Persistent Optical Wireless Energy Relay, or POWER, system. And we imagine that they were extremely pleased when they came up with that acronym. But that's nothing compared to the incredible potential of the technology itself. Essentially, it's a plan to convert energy into lasers fired from the ground into a network of aerial vehicles, which pass the energy between each other and then back down to another ground location, where it's then converted into standard energy and used. It's an ingenious idea, but its biggest drawback is the fact that it is wasteful, causing tremendous energy loss in each transfer and conversion, which is something the developers will need to address in the long term. Colonel Paul Calhoun, Power Program Manager in DARPA's Tactical Technology Office, said this is the Internet for Energy, harnessing resilient multipath networks to flow energy from abundant sources to energy-starved consumers. The military faces particularly acute energy challenges, which are driving this innovation. We often must operate far from established energy infrastructure and rely on liquid fuels that require precarious supply lines. Supplying power to an entire contested area is one thing. But what about the soldiers on the ground? Have any of these recent tech advancements helped save lives rather than take them? Number 11. Surgical Advanced Mannequin Another new piece of cutting-edge tech from the UK's Ministry of Defense is SAM. Short for Surgical Advanced Mannequin, a hyper-realistic dummy made to look and behave like an actual injured human body, complete with skin, blood, and organs. It looks ghoulish and maybe even a little sickening to the average person, but it's likely to save lives in the long run by giving combat medics field training with an unprecedented amount of realism. It's so realistic that it even has portions of dead tissue that the training combat medics will need to remove. Okay, we're feeling a little sick now, so let's go to another scope. Number 10. Smart Shooter Smash Scopes Much like the directed energy weapons we discussed earlier, a lot of military technology developed in the last decade has been designed to answer the drone question. Given that drones have essentially revolutionized warfare, even the equipment held by the average soldier needs to pick up the pace if they don't want to be left behind. Enter the Smart Shooter Smash Smart Weapon Sight Fire Control System, an assault rifle scope designed to give average soldiers counter small uncrewed air systems or CSUAS capabilities. With the assistance of AI, the scope allows soldiers to recognize and lock on to UAVs, creating a box around them on the HUD and allowing the rifle to fire when aiming into the box. Simple, but effective, and empowers infantry to take on the technology that's specifically designed to undermine them. In battle, awareness is key, which is precisely why the next piece of miracle tech on our list is so useful. Number 9. Passive Electronic Warfare Sensor 
Saab's new electronic warfare sensor, the Sirius Compact, is a portable device weighing only 3 kilograms or 6.6 pounds, but it's worth far more than its weight in gold to militaries around the world. It detects hostile electronic signals from enemy devices while being almost impossible to detect itself, whether it's mounted on a tripod, a vehicle, a boat, or a quadcopter. With a serious compact, soldiers can significantly enhance their operational awareness and give themselves the informational edge over their enemies in the field without potentially revealing their hand in the process. Carl Johann Bergholm, head of Saab's Surveillance Business Division, said operations in the electromagnetic spectrum of a modern battlefield are a constantly evolving challenge. The need to remain undetected while deploying with discretion and agility has been at the forefront of the development of the Sirius Compact. Giving yourself a military sixth sense is one thing, but what about supercharging one of the senses you've already got? Number 8. Magic Augmented Reality Goggles No, we don't mean DARPA has literally harnessed the force of sorcery, though give them time they're probably working on it. Magic in this case stands for medical assistance, guidance, instruction, and correction. It's an augmented technology headset that works its magic with AI-assisted medical recognition technology. In simple terms, it helps combat medics broaden their knowledge by automatically identifying the injuries their patients have received and providing real-time guidance on how to best treat them. Given that combat medics are quite often limited in their training compared to full-time doctors and surgeons, having this extra helping hand can be the difference between life and death when treating people in the critical period known as the golden hour. Raytheon BBN scientist Brian Van Voorst said, The combat medical environment is challenging and chaotic. Our goal for the Raytheon BBN Magic AI tool is to help support personnel to provide guidance as needed without disrupting their concentration. Number 7. Power Beaming Drone Recharger We've had a lot of tech on this list that was made specifically to combat drones. Now for a change of pace. Let's take a look at some of the tech that's going to make drones significantly more powerful using the same techniques we discussed earlier in the Energy Web Dominance program. Dr. Ifana Maboub at DARPA has been working on a half a million dollar project to remotely recharge drones by transferring energy wirelessly, saving the need to land them and swap out their batteries. This technique, which has the incredibly badass name Power Beaming, might change the game as far as extended drone missions are concerned. While measures are being taken to work out the same power loss and inefficiency issues that plague the energy web, this technology could have incredible implications for the consumer market, from domestic wireless tech to remotely charging electric cars on the freeway. So we're all hoping that Dr. Maboob's research goes well. Just like the comic book fanboy in all of us is really hoping this next product hits the civilian market someday too. Number 6. Onyx Exoskeleton This piece of tech not only has an awesome name, but it also enables you to essentially become Iron Man from the waist down. Ok, well maybe that's exaggerating a little, but this Lockheed Martin veritable fashion piece does provide robotic assistance to a soldier's knees and quadriceps, which can be the difference between life and death in a combat situation. Consider for a second that the average soldier these days carries so much equipment that it's almost like going to war with another person sitting on your back. Over time, this can wreak havoc on the legs and leads to soldiers experiencing injuries that put them out of commission for a considerable amount of time. Then consider where these soldiers most often experience combat. The rocky hills of Afghanistan or in tight, endless staircases of urban warfare. Either one is a recipe for a potential leg injury without the proper support, and Onyx offers that support in a manner that's finally lightweight and convenient enough to be more of a help than a hindrance. But even this isn't nearly as science fiction as the next item on our list. Number 5. Exacto Bullets If you're the one person who for some reason remembers that movie Wanted exists, you might remember the trailer scene where Angelina Jolie is able to bend the trajectory of a bullet to hit her target. This seemed like something that would only happen in movies until DARPA began its Exacto project. Short for Extreme Accuracy Tasked Ordnance, the project was built with snipers in mind specifically snipers trying to stay on target in the windy, dusty plains of Afghanistan. While details around the project are still scarce, the fundamental idea is ammunition with inbuilt targeting capabilities, a self-steering ordnance that could adjust its trajectory during flight to ensure it always reached its target. But being shot by a guided bullet is one thing. What about being shot by a microwave? Number 4. Drone Destroying Microwave Weapon the British aren't the only ones responding to the threat of low-cost drones with the development of directed energy weapons. The United States has been countering the threat of Houthi drones in the Red Sea with the Leonidas Microwave Blaster, 
named after the Spartan king who led his people against the Persians at the Battle of Thermopylae. Microwave weapons are in many ways more reliable than laser weapons, as their projectiles aren't as affected by ambient conditions. They're also more offensive than radio-based directed energy weapons, as the radio weapons will interfere with the UAV's receiving signals, whereas microwave weaponry burns out the components entirely. In a test of the Leonidas system, it was able to take out 66 out of 66 drones. Now let's get our feet firmly back on the ground for ground tech against ground targets. Number 3. Close Terrain Shaping Obstacles Landmines They're one of the defining objects in wars of the 20th century, which due to the horrific toll they've taken on the people who've encountered them, has resulted in them being heavily restricted in a number of international treaties. As a result, the world needed a replacement, an anti-vehicle device that abides by those treaties while still packing all the punch to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with modern military transport. Enter the Textron Systems Close Terrain Shaping Obstacles. Granted a $162 million contract from the US Army, these cutting-edge anti-vehicle traps developed by Textron Systems gives their users intimate control over the landscape of battle, while also ensuring that the civilian population will be safe after combat in the region ends. These mines are easy to deactivate or detonate after use, ensuring they won't remain behind and haunt the area for years after, as their predecessors did. But enough about things that cause damage, what about things that actively repair it? Number 2. Engineered Living Materials It goes without saying that soldiers spend a lot of time under fire, and this extends to the buildings and structures that they occupy. It's a shame then that the materials in those structures can't just repair themselves. But with the biomaterials being worked on by DARPA, they can. In the words of DARPA's official press release, the Engineered Living Materials or ELM program seeks to revolutionize military logistics and construction in remote, austere, high-risk, and or post-disaster environments by developing living biomaterials that combine the structural properties of traditional building materials with attributes of living systems, including the ability to rapidly grow in situ, self-repair, and adapt to the environment. Living materials could solve existing challenges associated with the construction and maintenance of built environments, and introduce new capabilities to craft smart infrastructure that dynamically responds to its surroundings. If DARPA can perfect the technology, it isn't just going to revolutionize military logistics, it might revolutionize construction as a whole, and our next entry could do the same for surgery. Number 1. Virtual Reality Pain Reduction To round us out, we've got another piece of fascinating medical technology. A sad fact of reality is that soldiers are often injured in the line of duty. It comes part and parcel with the inherent danger of the job. It's why a portion of the United States' vast military budget goes toward cutting-edge technology for medical treatment, and sometimes the source of that technology comes from the most unexpected places, like a VR headset. When you think of VR headsets, you might think of gaming or watching immersive videos online. However, it turns out they've also got amazing therapeutic potential for soldiers and even civilians which is why Samsung, Sony, and the Universities of Washington and Texas are working on exploring the uses of this novel technology on treating both service members and the average Joe. So what's the application of this specialized military virtual reality tech? It turns out that being engaged and distracted during medical procedures has been scientifically proven to reduce the feelings of pain felt by the patient. That's why these VR systems will place the soldiers into highly engaging games with immersive visuals and audio while undergoing painful medical procedures. As it's shown promise in soldiers like with many military technologies, we might see it hit the general public in the not too distant future. Now check out 50 unbelievable scientific discoveries of the decade or watch this video instead.